at this place, I tested out my flail mower here. We're testing out another unique machine today. So another cool piece of machinery we're having a look at today. The Raymo electric uh, remote control mower, I guess you call it, yeah? What's this one called? The Torpedo. Multiple different models in these, I assume? Or? Uh, no, with the Torpedo, it's just the actual, this is what we call the Torpedo here. Okay. Actual drive unit yep. the machine. So it's just one drive unit, um, different batteries, and three different decks. Two turf decks and one, one rough cut deck. Okay, so that this is, you're running the Torpedo on all of them, and then um, rough cut, and two turf decks. And two well. turf ones, okay. And these are good for? Slopes. Yep. Uh, got no slope rating. There's no oils, no filters, no yep. belts in this. It's a chain driven machine. Okay. Um, the reason they have a slope rating on mowers is one, for the operator, safety, two, for the actual engine itself. Okay. The oil in the engine. And run time's hard, obviously, with anything battery, but what are you guys saying for? Depending on the decks. Yeah. And then you obviously got different the... batteries as well, but with this rough cut deck and a 150 amp battery, you're getting between four to six hours roughly. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's quite a bit of cutting. How wide's that deck? 48 inch? It's 48 inch deck, yeah. You pop oh, you can pop that up to change the blades or whatever? Or... Oh, that's pretty easy. So this is for some more wild stuff, this setup, is it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. They look like they could do some damage. So again, rear discharge, um, and these blades are a, they're a hard ox steel blade. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like one bar blade with a couple of um, swing, back. swing backs attached to it. And you control it with uh, this thing here. Looks like a little bum bag. <laughs> Pricing on these starts from uh, forty nine thousand plus CC. Similar money, so you're looking at a fifty grand machine again, but an electric remote control mower that can go a lot of places people can't. That's the battery setup, is it? This is the battery setup. And and the beauty about it is what we call the power swap out as well. The whole battery can roll out. Okay. Change it over, keep going. Um, thick and long stuff, but also with the other decks it can get a nice manicured cut. Yeah. Okay. Very quick, very quiet. Thing. It's got a quite a high cut on this. You can go up to 140. 140, okay. As low as? Down to 60. It's um, it's like a good sized deck, but it's still. Quick and nimble. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it doesn't look too massive, but gets a lot of work done. Does that have like an auto turn feature or you just do it? No, 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 no.
beautiful. Uh, so once it's sitting there, the park brake. I feel like you're fiddling off. with me. Yeah. <laughs> so that takes the park brake off. You would press it twice. Yeah. Is that what no, you did? Just just once. It'll get yeah. And be twice. And then it's good to move. Forward. Oh, okay. Reverse, yeah. Left and right. Yeah. And then so blades. The blades on. So these two. Here. You hold them, it'll go. Oh, you don't have to hold them. That's on low speed, is it? That's on low drive speed. Yeah. High cut speed. Okay. So much fun. That's really fun, man. You gotta have a go at this. You gotta. So we got Karthik on the Raymo now. Gotta say, this is <laughs> the most fun I've had with a lawnmower for a long time. It's just, I don't know, like it does an awesome job, but also the novelty of Standing there controlling it with a remote is awesome. I mean, a smarter man would be standing in the shade, but. I'm really surprised how it gets through the longer and thicker stuff. It's definitely no toy, but at 50 grand, obviously, you're, uh, it needs to perform and it does. Very, very maneuverable. I feel like just about anyone could pick it up and be able to control it in a couple of minutes. Very intuitive. Great for areas along here, like this dam, for instance, where you wouldn't necessarily be wanting someone on a ride on because of the slope or, you know, they're made for even more extreme slopes than that, but this was really thick. I, uh, I genuinely want one. I know, that's a, it just, it's so intuitive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the turn, you'd think, oh, I'm gonna muddle, muddle up the turn, but it just... it's too much for my place? Uh, what do you think, two passes? <laughs> so Carthy's going to run through some of this thicker stuff here. Look at that! Just lays it over. I'm genuinely surprised. Like, I thought it would do an okay job, but I would have thought when it got to this thicker stuff it had struggle a little bit, but the speed it operates too is crazy. Doesn't skip a bit. 
I mean, feel free to get all the grass, Karthik, but... Uh, I stay on the drop.